I want you to imagine this scenario. It's a close game and you want to pull out something to surprise the enemy tease. Well, that's when you should pull out this flash right here. Hey everyone, it's Flasher and today I'm going to show you two pop flashes that I love to use on Mirage to surprise my opponents, get a free kill and turn the round into an instant four on five. So let's get right into it. Obviously, I'm going to be showing you an underpass pop flash that's super easy to do, works every single time I use it. As long as you don't use it too much, this is an amazing flash. So first, I'm going to show you how to throw it overhand. So to throw this flash overhand, which is a left click throw, all you have to do is as you run through underpass, put your crosshair right on the end of this puddle right here and do a simple left click throw. Now it's super important that you practice this in a custom match because you want to make sure that you know the angle that you're supposed to throw it at because you kind of wing it, right? You just get used to it. And for me, it's super easy to get down. That is not a good flash. And that is something you do not want to do. So you don't want to make sure it's not too deep. And you also want to make sure that it never goes too short or else you'll end up with something like this where you get blinded. The enemies hear you, they'll swing, they'll kill you or someone from mid will just trap you and it's an instant 4v5. So do not put your team at risk. Make sure you practice this beforehand. So like I said, put your crosser on the end of the puddle and as you run through underpass, you're gonna wing it and get that angle down and it should look something like that. An absolute perfect pop flash right into stairs where the T's love to go. And just to show you, it's super effective. They have no chance of dodging this. So I absolutely love this flash. So another way you can pull off this flash is what I showed in the beginning. It's a simple underhand throw. And I find this one more consistent and I tend to lean towards this one, but sometimes I like to do the puddle one as it's pretty easy as well. So all you have to do is line up your crosshair right here with this arch meets these two pipes, okay? So right here. And you're gonna do the same thing. As you run through underpass, you're just gonna do a simple right click throw this time, not a left click. And it should be a perfect pop flash that will surprise any T's pushing stairs. So just to show you like this, perfect. Boom, pop, swing, right? You wanna make sure you swing and you keep your movement forward as soon as you throw it so you don't stop and you wanna swing with it and it pops, get a kill and then retreat back to mid or wherever you wanna go. And just to show you this flash, I mean, it's literally the same flash. It's just as effective. So. I really like both options. They're both useful, whatever you feel like at the moment. And I'm gonna show you what it should look like in game. First, you wanna make sure you have a good spawn, right? If you don't have a good spawn, there's a chance that the enemy T will actually beat you mid and kill you as you jump through window. So you definitely do not want that. And you don't wanna ruin the round right at the start. Next, let's assume I have a good spawn. You wanna practice and make sure you know how to strafe through vents and out of window. Because if you don't know how to do that, there's a chance that you hit some walls and hit some corners. You slow down and same thing, get killed from mid. So let's assume I have a good spawn and I know how to strafe, it should look something like this. And you're gonna crouch through here and then I'm gonna jump through window as fast as I can and then do this and a perfect pop flash, swing, get a kill and then retreat. And now we come to the next important part about this flash is the retreating. It's actually even just as important as the flash itself. So you wanna make sure you communicate with your teammates before you throw this flash. Because like I said, right after you get a kill underpass, they're gonna know you're there and they're gonna try to kill you. So the mid players are gonna swing mid, throw flashes, throw grenades and try to kill you before you pull out this underpass push. Make sure you tell your teammates you're gonna do it so they can either molly mid and hold the push or spray and throw some smokes and get some support from connector and from cat. Super, super important, just as much as the flash itself. So what I like to do is when I'm retreating, either I'll throw this flash like this and just run straight into connector, right? I won't even bother fighting any player's mid because I don't want to throw away the advantage. You can throw that flash or you can throw just this simple flash off the wall and run. This one will blind you, but as long as you get into connector and you know how to get to connector, that's all that matters. Both flashes will blind the mid player. So that's all you want. As long as it pops high enough to blind the mid player, the flashes are good. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see other flashes just like this one, check out my other videos and thanks for watching.